Well, let's prove the triangle sum theorem first very quick visually, then a two column. I'm going to start with this figure here. I've got a line down on the bottom here. I'm going to draw a parallel line. See, I'm going to move it up, wee, just like that. And I'm going to say it's parallel. Why can I say that? Well, parallel postulate tells me I can construct a line um, parallel to a given line through a given point. And there you go. So let's put in a couple angles over here, a blue and a green. You see I'll animate them because those are my alternate interior angles. Parallel lines make alternate interior angles congruent. On the top, I've got one red, green, one blue. Makes a straight angle, 180. By substitution for the triangle, one red, one green, one blue, also makes 180. It's that easy. Let's write it in two-column form now. Now let's write that proof in two-column form, starting with a given line AB and a point C not on AB. Right away, we'll jump to the parallel postulate. Now, some of you may say it's Playfairs, but um, this is high school geometry after all. And we'll say for any um, line AB, there exists exactly one line, we'll call it K, passing through point C, which is not on AB. Well, that's a mouthful. Well, anyways, parallel postulate. I can construct such a parallel line. And now, let's, now let's draw a couple other lines. I know, you know, using a postulate that I haven't seen in this textbook yet, I can just draw a line connecting any two points. So I'm going to draw AC and AB. It's starting to take shape, isn't it? Well, of course, each of these lines is a transversal, which leads me right away to the next line. Four, I'm going to draw a pair of angles. I'm going to say angle one is congruent to angle four because of my, our earlier theorem. If I have two parallel lines, that makes my alternate interior angles congruent. Right here is your transversal. And by the same token, I'll take angles three and five using this transversal on my parallel lines and say that they are indeed congruent. Okay, well, all I need to do is throw in a third angle. I'm going to call it angle two. I'm going to add up these two, these three angles, four and two and five, because I can assume collinearity, they add up to a straight angle, which of course, by definition, is 180 degrees. Now don't say linear pair because there's of course three angles there, not two. But again, the one red, green, and blue angle all add up to 180 there. And as you can see, it's a simple matter of substitution. Substituting, um, see, angle one for angle four, angle three for angle five, and now we've got these three angles. Angle one plus angle two plus angle three equal to 180 degrees. And therefore, we've proven the interior angles of a triangle will always add to 180 degrees in Euclidean geometry. You see, I can move that figure around, and it doesn't change the facts. So there you go. That's your proof.